Hello guys, it is Aries here, and we have three minutes of... No, not three minutes. Three videos left of uh, me voicing over for Mass Effect. So, time to kick back and uh, relax for you guys. I have everything recorded, and now it's just voicing over. Um, this right here, I would argue, is one of the harder parts of the game. But it can also be easier. It, it just depends on how you take it on. Um, I did it pretty easily. It probably only took me like three tries to beat this area. And uh, final boss fight was real easy. Never died once. But yes, if you are watching this, I will be putting the um, profile uh, for the Mass Effect. I'll just be putting this in the description of the final boss fight video. Um, so just uh, look for it on that video. I'll mention it, of course. And basically, that's if you like you're going to be playing Mass Effect 2. And maybe you didn't play Mass Effect 1 on the PC. You played it on the Xbox or something like that. But um, basically, you'll take all of the choices that I made, and uh, that will carry over to Mass Effect 2. Um, also, one more thing: you will not be forced to play as a soldier. Um, you, it lets you rechoose your uh, class. So. Um, but being Paragon and all that stuff will stay the same. Weapons and other stuff won't matter, of course. So, yeah. We'll be having that. This part's pretty easy. You're just running... Or actually, anything in this video is pretty easy to do. So, yeah. Not much to really talk about. Of course, if you're not... If, if you're watching this on YouTube, go to darkdrumproductions.com and click on an ad for me. And we will most likely have playlists of this by the time all the videos go up. So, yeah, you can watch it in playlists, which I don't have on YouTube. Sorry about that. No playlists. So, anyway, now we're going to fight some destroyers. And there's like a geth here. And here I'm going to show my awesome ability to shoot through walls. And it's pretty easy. Um. I'm not sure if this is right or not, but it seemed like almost infinite amount of Krogan were coming, or not Krogan, Geth Destroyers were coming through. Um, I'm not totally sure if that's correct or not, but um, it just kind of seemed like whenever I shot one down, another one would come right into its place. So anyway, that yeah, this is just like hiding basically. You don't want to rush Krogans, obviously, because they are. Uh, impossible to kill. And one of my partners, like, did something to knock that one down. I don't know what he was doing. But, um, yep. Normal, normal stuff. I actually got a really nice power that I wish I'd had before. Um, right at the end, as I started leveling up, it was, uh, in liking. It's like, uh, here, I might get its name. I thought it was like over. It's not overkill. I can't remember. It's one of the powers that Rex has. It like turns your health white and gives you super health. And uh, lift. That is a pretty funny ability. But here we're uh, still fighting this Krogan. He was quite the pain in the ass. And then my teammates started whooping up on him. Yeah, Krogan's rush me, and then I get on with my overkill. And this card is starting getting a little bit crazy right here. Barely made it alive away from the Krogan, that crazy bastard. And then I just kept running like hell while my teammates. I'm not sure what actually happened to the Krogan. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's right. He kicked. Rex's ass while I ran away. But Rex is okay, so doesn't matter. And we make a quick save, and that was totally me not dying. Trust me. I'm an expert on this. Just totally forget you saw that. I don't die. 
So anyway, you now have fun. Punch Geth while they're floating in the air. And I think we're getting... Uh, still got about a minute and a half left. No, I don't really have much to talk about. Probably should have thought up of a subject. But we're just getting so close to the end of the game that I figured, eh, why not just do this so I can get these rendered and all sorts of fun stuff. So, yeah. So, getting forward to Mass Effect 2. I have it preloaded. And I just got myself a 2 terabyte hard drive. So, no more interrupted recordings from having to record on like 70 gigabytes. So you gotta watch out for these rocket troopers because they'll really put a dent in your hand, in your, well, head. They are quite the powerful ones. So anyway, you'll see me quick saving a lot. And that's just basically because you don't want to die here. Um, you don't want to have an underabundance of uh, quick saves because first time I ran through this on my first playthrough, maybe? Um, I died, and I went all the way back. Like, if you die at all in, in this entire spot and you don't save yourself, like, you don't make any quick saves or manual saves, it will put you all the way back at, um, the beginning, right after the cutscene of getting out of the elevator. But, um, yeah, you gotta really be... You gotta really be on the ball on quick saving whenever there's a uh, little waving in the action because otherwise you're going to end up wasting a lot of your time having to redo a lot of this which uh, the only really hard parts coming up here but yeah go f to darkdormproductions.com for you know more guides and all that stuff and I'll see you next video